With those summer storms uh, come the threat of lots and lots of lightning. Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing tells us how to stay safe and to protect your home. Monday night storms brought prolific lightning across central North Carolina with one single storm at one point containing more than 300 bolts of lightning. While fascinating to see, lightning, of course, can be dangerous and deadly. From 2013 to 2022, North Carolina has had 11 lightning related deaths, the fourth highest total out of the entire United States, only behind Florida, Texas and Alabama. On average, mo most lightning deaths occur during the months of June. June and July, which just makes sense. It's when typically when people are spending more time outside during the summer months. So as a reminder, if you can hear thunder, that storm is close enough to where you are that you're at risk of being struck by lightning. And also remember, lightning can travel more than 10 miles outside of the storm. And if you are outside and you hear thunder, immediately find an enclosed structure to wait out the storm and never take shelter under a tree. And if you are outside, of course, wait at least 30 minutes from the last strike to resume any sort of game or outdoor activity. I also reached out to the Raleigh Fire Department to ask how often they respond to building fires due to lightning, and they told me it's typically around four to ten a year, but they also respond to electrical investigations due to lightning strikes that cause damage to buildings even if they didn't necessarily start a fire. So to protect your home, the Raleigh Fire Department has this advice. During a thunderstorm, it can be a good idea to power down and avoid using computers and make sure to install surge protectors. If for some reason you still have a corded phone in your home, you should avoid talking on it during a storm. And while lightning rods or something of the sort can help protect your home in the event of a lightning strike, they don't necessarily take away the risk of damage completely. It's summertime and storms with lots of lightning are common. So as you enjoy the next few months, just make sure you stay safe when a storm rolls in. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.